So we're back here for some math at home. We're working on our three-dimensional shapes. Remember, three-dimensional shapes have a length, a width, and then a height. If they only had a length and a width, they'd be flat and they'd be a two-dimensional shape. But once we get that height, they become three-dimensional, or we like to call them 3D. Okay, so today we're going to work on two of them. We're going to work on our cylinder and our cone. These two are very similar in some parts, okay? They both have a circle face. But if we take a look closer at the cylinder, the cylinder has two circle faces, okay? It also has a rounded side, a rounded edge, so it can roll. With that flat circular face, it can slide, and if it has more than one, you can stack these up. Now when we come over here to the um, cone, it still has that circular face, so it can slide. But on the other end, instead of having another circular face, it has a point, comes to a point. It does have the rounded edge, so it can roll, but they can't stack because if you try to stip it on that point, it just fall off one way or the other. So let's see some examples. I'd love for you guys to find some in your house, but for a cylinder, pretty easy. You can find your can of soup. Any can usually is um, a cylinder. So can of soda, um, any kind of can. Also jars, most jars. Ooh, my peanut butter. I love peanut butter. So peanut butter comes in a jar and that's a cylinder. It's got the circular faces, rounded edges. You can stack them up. Okay. Um, but there's other places you're going to find cylinders if you just look. A marker. A marker is a cylinder. It's got a circular face. Even though the cap may not look just like a circular, it is, okay? And it's got that rounded edge, and it can slide. If you had them, you can stack them up. Now, a cone, um, you do see cones around, but they're not a normal shape that we see a lot of, okay? But one of our most favorite, definitely, is the ice cream cone. Ooh, I'm going to have to save this one and have some ice cream in it later. Okay. Ooh, while I'm putting that ice cream in, what shape is the ice cream going to be on top? Yeah, that's right, a sphere. It's going to be a ball of ice cream, a sphere on top. But I always pack a little extra inside my cone. <laughs> Don't tell my boys. But where else can we see the cone? Now, that's a coach's cone. So it does have the circular face. It doesn't come all the way to the top to a point. You might see other coaches using the taller ones that do more come to a point. And even the taller ones that they've got out on the road, we call those construction cones. Okay? These are cones that you'll see around. Now, how about we make a few of these, okay? We're going to get out our Play-Doh and get out our toothpicks and we're going to make some models of a cylinder and a cone. See you in a second. Okay, so we're gonna need our Play-Doh and our toothpicks. Um, so with the Play-Doh, we're gonna take this out and we're gonna make three circles because we're gonna make two two-dimensional shapes. So I need three circles for the flat faces, okay? So let's get this, what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to smash it out nice and flat, okay? I wanna make it big enough so that that works okay and that does so let's make three of those okay get it nice and flat make sure you ask mom and dad hey is it okay if I do this on the tabletop if not ask them to put something down or maybe you can go somewhere that mom and dad say it's okay so that you can do this uh, it play-doh usually just wipes up nice and clean anyways so we got those now I want to use this container now I told you guys at school don't use the lids because then the play-doh gets in those little cracks and when you try to seal it up it never gets sealed and it dries up so we're gonna use the container right here and we're gonna cut some circles okay we're gonna go down this is like a cookie cutter so we don't need that extra part we just need that circle so let's get three of those so get rid of that extra part and now we got that. So now we got that, what we're gonna need is one more thing is we're gonna need a little thing of 
Play-Doh and we're going to need to make it into a sphere. Remember how we do that? Rolling it around in our hands. Okay, so there we go. That's that. We're going to start off by making our cylinder. We're going to use one of these pieces of Play-Doh circles uh, to be the bottom of the cylinder. We're going to grab a bunch of our toothpicks here. Okay, let's get a bunch of these toothpicks out and we're going to start putting them all the way around the sides. We're going to stick them in and get them right inside the edges. Don't go right to the edge, it'll tear out. So go in a little bit from the edge of the uh, circle, okay? So we're going to go all the way around, putting in our toothpicks. Not right on the edge, but not in the middle, because we want it to look like it's almost at the edge. Remember, this is just a model that we're making. So we got that. One more here. Cool. I'm going to try to stand that guy back up. It might be a little bit easier to make one of the circles on the bottom one a little bit taller. Now we're going to take this other one and we're going to carefully put it on top. And stick it down. What did we make? We made a cylinder. Okay, so we've got our circle bottom, which is a circle face, a circle top, another circle face, and then we got that rounded edge all over. It's not going to be able to be picked up, moved around, rolled around a lot. It'll probably fall over as soon as I try to do that. Now, what are we going to do with this circle here and this uh, sphere is we're going to try to make a cone. This one's a little bit trickier. Um, this sphere is actually going to be the point. It doesn't really look like a point, but it's got to hold the um, toothpicks together, okay? So basically, we're going to start with a bunch of toothpicks like we did in the last one, and we're going to go all the way around the edges, okay? So again, don't go right into the edge of the circle. Go in a little bit and stick in your toothpicks, okay? I'm going to use a few less not put them quite as close together than the cylinder. Okay, that one's falling into the middle. Guess what? That doesn't matter. We're all, they're all gonna fall into the middle. Okay, let's get one more in there. Right in there. Now what I want to do is I want to grab those and push them all in to about one point there in the middle. And I'm going to take my cylinder, I mean my sphere there, put it right there on top, and there's my model of a cone. Again, this is just a model. I can move it around, try to be as careful as I can. I wish it came more to a perfect point, but you guys were just playing around with some toothpicks and some uh, Play-Doh. But there's my circle face, my rounded edge coming to a point. Here's my cylinder. Let's see if I can do this. Ooh, I got it up. There's that, those two circle faces, the rounded edge, made a cylinder. You guys, have some fun. I hope you guys already got to make your spheres and your cones, or your cubes, sorry. Now it's time to try to make cylinder and a cone. Okay, so today was 3D shapes. We had our cylinder. What's special about the cylinder? It's three-dimensional. It has two circular faces. What can it do? Slide, roll, and stack. And then we had our cone. How do we know it's a cone? It's three-dimensional, a circular face, and a point with that circular face it can slide with its curved surface it can roll but it cannot stack these are three-dimensional shapes cylinder cone see you guys later